Hey y'all, it's Perky, and in today's video, we have another reaction to theories on TikTok that will make you question reality. These are from my Discord server, so if you don't know, we have a Discord where we get all these videos, plus it's a way for you guys to get shouted out. Please add the Discord, the link is in the description, and it's also gonna be pinned in the comment section down below. So just wanted to just let that be known. I got the glasses on today, probably a lot of videos today. So if you see me in this outfit with these glasses, just know that we went in. Nothing me talking. Let's go ahead and get into today's video. Shout out to Rick because Rick is the first one that has sent over these videos. Three people walking out the clouds is crazy. They're watching this. That's the news from the tornado. Y'all watch when I put play. You see up in the cloud? Watch them people walk out the car. People are lying. We then had to pull over because that's when emergency crews were headed towards when we saw an ambulance. We saw a fire. You see them right here? Look. Look. And so we are almost there, but uh, we're not even anywhere yet. And this is the damage we're seeing. We saw a few people kind of outside. Um, it looks like no they focus. may have been talking um, Just in case you didn't see it. I'm gonna go back. Look right here, okay? We then had to pull over because that's when emergency crews were headed towards when I'm circling. we saw an ambulance, we saw a fire truck headed that way. And so we are almost there, but uh, we're not even anywhere yet. And this is the damage we're seeing. We saw a few people kind of outside. Um, it looks like they may have been um, talking Very interesting. Glad it was caught on camera. Elon Musk's childhood nanny. They were coming from Africa. They were white as me, I thought they'd be black. And um, because of something the boy did, I never told what he did. The boy did something very dark when he was very little. And then one day I asked someone in the circle, Imelda, Joaquin's mother. I asked Imelda, is he the Antichrist? I was 13 years old. She didn't even blink. She said no but he will present the mark. And when you see him do that, the Antichrist will take the stage. So, hmm. now here we are, 40 years later. Boom, that boy. Did y'all see that on his chest? Yes, yes, this right here is, I caught that instantly. It was funny, cause I was about to rewind it and bring it back, but they brought it up right here. He has a whole Baphomet on his chest. The boy's name then was El Elyon. It's changed over time. We're 40 years later, and I see that boy everywhere, and the world adores him, but he's the king of Babylon. Hmm. <laughs> Terrifying list of weird and unexplained things happening all over the US to this past week. People were sleeping at 4 a.m. The first powerful 7.8 magnitude quake rocked. 83 earthquakes in the last 24 hours is crazy. 12 sinkholes have opened up in Turkey. Did not know about that. It has happened again for the third day. Read the captions, I gotta mute it. Shot down over Alaska. An unidentified cylindrical object caused a fighter jet to malfunction as they came closer to shooting Break down. Black one, Adam. Black one. Alien sighting in Australia. Oh. <laughs> Are you walking away? Fucker. What y'all think? Next up, we have DeAndre. Contrary to popular belief. Africa is not poor. You don't go to a poor continent to make money. Africa is, in fact, the richest continent on the globe. I never thought of it that way. You don't go to a poor continent to make money. You don't go to a poor continent to make money. Oh, let that resonate. I got to play that back and I'll, I'll shut up. Contrary to popular belief, Africa is not poor. You don't go to a poor continent to make money. Africa is, in fact, the richest continent on the globe. Why haven't African leaders tried to make use of their resources, you might ask? They did. And every time they met the same fate. Death. 
some under mysterious circumstances like Magufuli and MKO Abiola, who coincidentally both had a heart attack moments after plans to industrialize Tanzania and Nigeria's gold and oil reserves. U.S. Ambassador Susan Rice served MKO a cup of tea, which many people believe was the cause of his death. Other leaders have been directly by the orders of multinational corporations, like Ken Sarawiwa being hung by Shell. Or how about the first democratically elected leader of the Congo, Lumumba, being executed in a coup propped by Belgium and CIA on the orders of Union Minery? That quote hit. I don't care what nobody say. You don't go to a poor continent to make money. I reacted to a video a few videos back about a guy in Africa doing something about making his own bake and how the money was going to circulate. He had a whole system going to where if this would have happened, he would have caused like America to collapse because his money would have been doubling and tripling. It was giving Black Panther. I can't, I don't know why I can't speak and why I can't remember. I think what it is is because I don't want to say anything out of context when the video didn't say that. But you guys remember for those that like watch my videos and they took him out. I'm saying that because just like the people that they showed, there was a person that had an invention or idea or a vision try to bring it to life and they always had the same end result which was basically being eliminated. It's, it's crazy how people want to do better for their continent, their country, their tribe and you have somebody that just is like yeah no you you, you going against the grain here sir or ma'am and then they eliminate them. That is so deep but again i have to say that quote because that quote hits you don't go to a poor continent to make money i'm sorry that resonated with me because i never looked at it that way so if i said it a billion times please forgive me that just was a deep quote once again the firmament it's in our face over and over again how much truth how much confirmation do we need truth and cartoons Why would they put this, something like this in the cartoon? Why would they put this on TV where they know people are watching? Because you have to hide the truth in plain sight. Because again, if they put something in cartoons like this, you're not gonna believe because it's just a cartoon. You have to read between the lines of what they're doing. They're putting this stuff in our face because they don't expect for us to catch on. They expect for us to, to take it as a joke. That's why they put it in the shows because you're not going to take it seriously. Real talk, the government and the world leaders have been telling us, will there be a second? What's your thoughts? Five years from now, five years from now, or a decade from now, we've made the investment. Most of the work we're going to do to be ready for pandemic two, I, I call this pandemic one. Pandemic two. Hmm. We need more money to plan for the second pandemic. There's going to be another pandemic. There's going to be another pandemic. We know that words and the tongue have power. We know that these people have power. This is not a slip up. You're not just saying this to say this. No, you're saying this because it's an agenda being pushed. Pay attention to what these leaders are saying because they're not saying stuff just to say it. The biggest surveillance tool. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the biggest surveillance tool you will ever see in human history central bank digital currency. Take a listen. So now they're literally controlling what we can and can't do with our money. It's also important to realize that the money can expire. So during times of um, economic uncertainty, central banks love to print um, lots and lots of money, which causes inflation. Um, but we could get to a point where they say, um, you know, instead of printing money, guys, you have to spend at least 10% of your savings in the next three months. If you don't spend that money in the next three months, then that money is going to expire. And if you can't save money, well, then you can't build long lasting generational wealth. You're always going to be a slave to the system. And, you know, I don't think people really understand the severity of this. Money is literally the energy which fuels your life. If you don't have freedom of money, you don't have freedom of anything. This is the cheat code of cheat codes. Ooh. People are going to be mad when I show you this. <laughs> so I'm going to teach it to you. Make sure you share this video and share it with as many people as possible. All right, ChatGPT. Many people don't, don't know how to use it. I'm going to show you a quick way 
to master it in just a few seconds. Let's go. All right, you're gonna download the plugin AI PRM. It's got over 2000 prompt templates that you can use to create almost any type of content that you want. Let's say we wanna write a book, one click book creator. And with one click, we're gonna write a whole book. What's trending right now? Andrew Tate. All right, Andrew Tate and bam, there we go. A whole book on Andrew Tate's philosophies generated right now, right in front of our eyes. <laughs> now you can even ask it to create a monthly content calendar promoting this book there you go this is dangerous guys but anyways people are gonna hate me for showing you this we live in the age of abundance why not share the wealth why would people hate him for that that is knowledge that is literally a cheat code to cheat codes like he said that is why it's very impossible or it's it's very annoying to hear people say i can't do it I don't have the resources. I don't know what to do. Those are excuses because you don't want to do it. You have information like this that is literally making you work smart and not hard. Save this video because it doesn't only go for books. Like he said, it goes towards anything. Anti-woke movie, Nefarious, is that how you pronounce that? Explains how demonic forces are fooling society. Uh-oh. Your side's not doing too well. You really believe that, James? Yeah. Bottom line is you're done. Pay attention to what they put in movies and TV shows. Rick sent this over. Is Mars really outer space? Here we go with NASA, which means to deceive. And y'all say y'all about money. There's so much more you wouldn't believe. I'll just go ahead and mute for copyright reasons. Ooh. This one right here, that one's throwing me so off. <laughs> I gotta repeat this one more time. $50 bill. Ooh. This one is in a whole nother language, but we're still going to watch. I have it muted on purpose. I don't know what I was looking at, but it looked kind of cool down there. I don't, I don't Oh. Theories on TikTok that make you question reality that you guys sent over Discord edition. Again, if you want your video featured on here, if you have any videos that may have woke you up or had you questioning or thinking, please go over in the Discord again. Link is in the description and it's also pinned in the comment section down below. Please submit your videos over. Plus, it's a way for you guys to get shouted out on here as well. And in a way for everybody to see your videos that you found and that got everybody on here questioning some stuff. So please go ahead and do that for me if you guys don't mind and I really do appreciate it. That is the end of today's video. I'm gonna actually be switching up like my, my intros and my outros, less talking and less saying like, comment, subscribe because at the end of the day, you guys are gonna do what you want. So if you subscribe, you subscribe. If you don't, you don't. At the end of the day, it is a-okay. So I'm not gonna say that anymore, but I do want to say I gotta give all esteem, all glory, all honor to my Lord Yahuwah and my Adonai Yahushua Hamashiach because they are using me. They're working in and through me. I'm just a vessel at the end of the day. So I got to give credit and honor where it's due. Y'all know me. You guys have a blessed one and I'll see y'all in the next one. Shalom. Shalom. You can't bring me down. I know who I belong to. Yeah. Why? I won't sell my soul. I know my worth.